this problem looks very long and very confusing but the solution is very very simple let's see how we can do this there are two concentric wheels each marked with seven positions the wheels spin in opposite directions and make uh, each makes a complete turn in seven minutes at the end of each minute each letter lies exactly in front of a number each letter lies exactly in front of the number you can see here one is lying in front of a two is lying in front of c the picture shows the first two positions of the wheels and we can see the initially letter a is in front of number 1 letter b is in front of number 2 and so on right 3 is in front of c 4 is in front of d 5 is in front of e and similarly 7 is in front of g the wheels turn until letter c is in front of number 2 what number is in front of f in that point so this line is important nothing else the wheels turn until letter c is in front of number 2 and but they are asking us what is the main question which number is letter f in front of that point so we have to find out what the number basically what will be in front of f now if you will see what they have provided as in the question is both the wheels are having seven seven circles right which is either written with numbers or with alphabets the in, inner one is written with alphabets and the outer one is written with numbers they are moving in opposite direction right so this is moving in anti clockwise the alphabets one and the number one is moving in clockwise direction and if you will see this is zero minute wherein two is in front of p three is in front of c four is in front of d correct what is happening at the end of each minute letter will align to the alphabet so after 1 minute if you will see here what happened is b went one step back right because uh, the alphabet wheel is moving anti clockwise and the 1 will be here 7 will be here 6 will be here 5 will be Here. that's how it is moving it is going to uh, just change the position one one step ahead and the numbers are in clockwise and alphabets are in anti clockwise what are they saying the wheel turns until letter c is in front of 2 so basically letter c is here in front of 2 yes or no are we changing the position of the alphabets no right it will be a b c d e f g only and the numbers will also stay 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 correct so if you will see in one minute as well so the numbers are in the exact position 1 2 3 4 5 6 seven order is going to be same and if you will see the alphabets as well they are also in the correct order a b c d e f g f g right till g it is there so very easily what we will do we are going to fix t in front of 2 so c will be here right we can now just Uh, we know the a, uh, alphabets right now what we are going to do we are just going to arrange the alphabets c d will come here e will come here f will come here 
G will come here, right? And opposite to this, B will come here and A will come here. That's it. What we did is, they told us that, let me show you. They told us that letter C is in front of 2. So letter C has to be here. If C is here, D will be here, right? Just after it. And then if D is here, E will be here. Correct. So we will complete it. It will be this is how it is going to look like. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. The order will not change. Right. It is going to be the fixed order because they are just spinning up. So, if C is in front of 2, which number is going to be in front of F? 5. That's it. Done. So, no need to use the first figure. Right? You can just use only one figure and write C in front of 2. That's it. And then you can arrange the order. You can write all the alphabets then. And you will be able to see that F is in front of 5. That's it. Done.